Almost. We've almost filled it up, but not quite. Hey, actors! Welcome to Thursday. It is Throwback Thursday, and so I have um, this thing that I found in my closet, which is an old tube of bare conductive conductive paint. It is this sort of black colored liquid. It's kind of jelly, and you can see how their design has changed over the years. We did a whole series on YouTube uh, of interviews with Matt Johnson of Bare Conductive about like how their design has evolved very consciously, what they value, how they chose to do what they've done, um, including some stuff that you'll see in this kit. I've actually done an unboxing of this before, but we've never built it yet. So this is the electric paint lamp kit. Um, this is all dried up, but it's water-based, so you can actually uh, wet it again and it'll totally work. I've got a couple of old jars as well. So Bear Conductive uh, are based in the UK. They're this wonderful conductive paint company that just have really awesome design. And we'll look at some of the things that they've done to make things easier for their community. Uh, for one thing, it just oh, this is just such a pleasure to work with now. Um, oh no, mini me. Okay. Uh, but you can see uh, they're big pots of it as well. It comes in multiple sizes. This is the same stuff, it's just a different container. It's beautiful, you can hear choirs of angels sing when you open the little thingy, uh, and they have included directions and everything, so it's really easy for beginners to get started. And for people doing art, like interactive art especially, uh, this is just a great choice because they have made it easy for people of all skill levels. Um, Another blast from the past is the Bear Conductive Touchboard Pie Cap. There is a standalone touchboard that runs Arduino, but also this guy that goes on a Raspberry Pi of any size and connects to the 40 pin header, as well as having this little proto board. All these little things are touch sensors and you can connect them to, you know, conductive fabric tape, copper tape, uh, or, you know, conductive paint, whatever, in order to connect it to your art. And then you'll have these, I think it's 12, yeah. 12 separate touch sensors that you can do whatever with. Make a really cool piano, make... I've seen people do like interactive paintings and stuff, and we'll see some more of that in a second too. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to use this in a project yet, but I really want to. As you can tell, uh, I'm kind of working my way through a wonderful backlog. So, what's in here? I've actually done a little bit of Martha Stewart magic and uh, pre-made a couple things because the paint takes about 15 minutes to dry if you do it well. And I, well, so one of the first things that they give you is like a practice sheet. I did not do the practice sheet and I think even if I had, I wouldn't be that great at this yet, but <laughs> so my lines are a little bloopy and uh, they take a little bit longer to dry. So I've got those cooling on the side just as a preview. Ooh, super cool. I'm gonna knock my camera around, that's great. Um, <laughs> they've got a sweet getting started guide that explains the contents of the kit, electric paint, light up board. This is the microcontroller uh, that's included. We'll take a closer look at that. A micro USB cable, and then three separate lamps that kind of increase in difficulty. We'll walk through those. Um, yeah, they've got all these links to extra information and where to share stuff about it. I don't want to go in too deep on this stuff because we already did it in the unboxing, um, but I'm going to start by setting up this first beginner lamp on air since it has a small amount of paint uh, and it should dry while I'm doing the rest of the stuff. So let's take a look at how you actually use this. So it, the lamp each lamp comes in two parts, two pieces of paper. One of them is where you do all the painting, uh, and you've got little tabs and stuff to lock your, your board in place, which is really cool. Uh, I really admire the design of this paper craft. Like, look at that. It's all like beautifully sort of perforated and cut beforehand. And uh, these little tabs anchor the two pieces of paper together. I'm going to smash it down like that so that this little button is exposed and this thing folds up into a lampshade, which is just a clever and beautiful design. Those are two words that just like really work for this company. Um, so I'm gonna take this, twist off the thingy. Uh, I've already gotten a little smudgy with it, as you can tell, uh, and go ahead and at about a 90 degree angle, I'm gonna try and do this as neatly as possible. You want kind of a glob at the end, and then you wanna use kind of a 90 degree angle to, oh, 
to get a smooth flat oh line <laughs> yeah there we go and then we just kind of scribble this guy in that's how you end up with the globs on your nozzle globs on the nozzle the new autobiography from alex glow coming to you stores <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Thursday afternoon. Um, I'm making a huge mess of this. Uh, I'm gonna try and like smooth it out, but you know, you can see why this took me kind of a while before. Uh, and here we go, a little glob. Kind of draw that out onto this you guy. La 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 la. Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, cool. <laughs> so that's going to be drying while we talk about the rest of this stuff. Uh, and eventually we'll put these two bits. Oh no, I missed some spots. Ugh. I can already see where it's really thin is already kind of drying, um, which is nice. I'm just going to try and sort of smooth this out. I'm just wrecking the whole thing now. That's great. That's just great. <laughs> I love it. It's like low stakes experimentation stuff, right? This, this is really just tactile and fun. Uh, wonderful. The other kits we've got, we've got this um, dimmer one, a dimmer lamp, and that has these sort of like tentacles. I really love this one, it looks like an evil squid or something, or like something out of a, a well, not Ghost in the Shell, what's the one that has the like Umbrella Corporation or whatever? Anyway, um, could be Ghost in the Shell. Uh, it looks really neat, and you put the little board down there, and then you smush this on top and then you've got like a touch based dimmer that changes the brightness of the lamp Oop. let's put that back over there and then finally uh, we have this other one which is and it involves like a little bit of folding and stuff too to make this stuff come together uh, this guy is a proximity lamp so uh, you put the second sheet over the first one and kind of fold it up so that it covers the board uh, and then you can sort of change the brightness with proximity of your hand. I'm excited for that one. I think that one's pretty much dry. It seems like the the bits that take the longest to dry are the kind of uh, big globs of the touch sensors and stuff. Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm probably getting paint everywhere. Uh, That's what I get for bringing out the, the crusty old tube, you know? Okay. Uh, you go over there. Doo -doo -doo. So, they actually have an instruction slash testing sheet, which is this glorious three-piece fold-out thingy. Uh, you know, you can practice your skills. They tell you, like, it's supposed to look like that. <laughs> and then you, like, try it, and then you try this 90-degree angle thing, and then, like, da -da -da, smooth, thin line, etc. Um, they have instructional videos that will actually help you do this on Hackster, for example. Let's just look at the online stuff for a sec. Uh, here is Hackster.io slash bear conductive. It is their their little home on Hackster. Um, proximity sensor with the pie cap. How makes a touch lamp. MIDI piano. Quick tutorial on diluting electric paint. All this really useful stuff that goes beyond just sort of straight tutorials. Um, yeah, and yeah how to seal electric paint so that it doesn't get all, uh, doesn't stay like water sensitive, you know, it's not going to smear all over the place when you do a touch sensor, which is very important. Um, this is their page on the internet, on the uh, actual bearconductive.com site. You can get the electric paint lamp kit, which is what we're building, for $45, and you can read more about how it all comes together. Um, yeah, again, lots of cool tutorials here, Raspberry Pi 1, 2, or 3. I think you can actually make this work on the Zero as well, uh, and it'll like sit pretty perfectly on top, but I forget. Uh, I think I've tried that once. Um, and also there's a recent project by Amy with uh, using this to create a touch-responsive Lego wall, which is pretty cool, sort of inspired by one at Facebook. So, but that one wasn't touch responsive, so this one's way cooler. Uh, so it seems like perfect timing to start doing this and you're probably getting excited. We actually have some of these big uh, Lego blue base plates too because I've been plotting some Lego projects. So lots of stuff on Hackster, exciting. Uh, and we'll get to this stuff later. Go away. There we are, okay. 
Uh, you can get practice twisting and locking the little board into place. Like first it's just like the two middle guys. Da -da -da. Make sure you don't fold them, just sort of pop them up. The little wings, they call them. <laughs> uh, or the, the board has wings and the paper has tabs. Uh, then there's these little, you gotta make sure that all the little tabs go in in the right order from largest to smallest. So, you know, everything in its time. And we can actually practice this with the board itself. So here's the other bits of the kit. You've got the light board. Come out of there. I had this issue last time. <laughs> because it sort of dug itself underneath into here. Which I think if I just manhandle it, then there we go. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you've got the little two wings there. I'm going to skip straight to the end because I'm feeling badass. Uh, <laughs> um, so first I'm going to start like this. I think this is the right way. Because, uh, so that goes in, then this goes in. Then this goes in, and then finally the little one. Boop. Like so. And it kinda kinda holds it in place. Nice. Um, but it's still easy to remove. And then once you've put the board on one of these paper things, you want to make sure to glob a little bit of solder into the relevant hole. And that creates a connection between the paint on the paper and the board itself, which has these little gold plated contacts. Yeah, we fancy. <laughs> uh, and there's these six little LEDs here. There's an Atmega 88 chip on here, which is interesting. Um, so yeah, there's nothing on the back, in case you're curious. <laughs> so I have a wet paper towel here to kind of clean off the contacts between lamps, but we'll see how it goes. So then we also have a USB cable, uh, and in the, the interview with Matt, you will see that uh, they gave a lot of thought to the design of these little standoffs that hold the stuff in the kit because that basically makes it modular. They can even either like put um, this into its own box uh, or put it into a whole kit and that allows them to have fewer SKUs to track and manage and it, they can kind of scale how much of each you know individual stuff versus kits they have uh, dynamically according to demand, which is pretty cool. All right, oh, I've got this upside down. Ah. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna try and see if some of the previous painted ones are gonna work and we'll see if we can put them together. Hopefully we can. This is a, this seems like it should be pretty friendly. So what about this one, which is supposed to be the most complex, but I have faith in us. That looks good. Yeah. Um, the other one is a little bit shiny still, but I think it'll be done soon. Oh yeah, and I need the back piece too. I think it's this guy. So this has uh, different types of folds indicated by different types of dotted lines. So I'm going to punch out this little align with switch thingy, and I'm going to do these as mountain folds. And these two as valley folds, so that you end up with a little sort of pop-up, stand-up thingy. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. The boops are necessary. Very important sound effects. <laughs> um, and set that aside for a second. I'm going to put this into the paper. You may have noticed that uh, Throwback Thursday is really just a very hollow and transparent excuse to put together something new. I don't care. Because <laughs> uh, I'm playing with some cool stuff. All right, so, so one is these two little guys. Two is here. Three is here. Er, three. Three. There we go, and four is down there. 
All right, twist it in position, and it's locked. That's cool. Uh, see how these four lines sort of line up with those four contacts. And uh, I think that E8 to E2 might be a mode selector in this case. I'm going to squash that down in there. Oh, I'm making such a mess. But it kind of sinks down into the hole, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, making sure that it does that. Oh, no, come on. Go in there. Go in there. Do it. Um, the plating also extends to the side, so I can also just do that. Like the edge of the board is plated as well. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to cheat and put this on the outside. Now this is actually probably going to take a minute to dry as well. But while it does, we should be able to use it. I'm going to apply the USB cable, <laughs> attach it, I guess that's the word. Um, I need to plug it in. And I actually think I have an existing USB cable that I can use. Eh. Let's do it the proper way. All right. Such magic. Is it going? Can't really tell if it's doing anything right now. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, I have to hold uh, my finger on the sensor in order for it to do anything. Okay, so first let's attach this. <laughs> so there's tabs again. There's this tab, this one, over here, and that one. And I'm gonna put those in place. Arr. Mine is not going to be nearly as pretty as the demo, but that's why their uh, instructions are their official instructions, and this is a live build. Alright, I think those are all in place. Cool. So now I've got this. Haha! <laughs> Look, oh, there's another tab too. Go in there. There we go. It really wants to pop out of there, but it is not my plan. We are going according to my plan and your plan is not my plan, so. Oh, I see, that's why this tab needs to stay in there. Go! Ah, okay, <laughs> close enough. Hey, hey, maybe I needed to do more vigorous folding or something. <laughs> okay, uh, so now I'm going to hold this guy and hope. Come on. Oh, it's going. That's really neat. It's just like magic. <laughs> It's totally magic. It's not even like magic. It definitely is magic. That's so awesome. So now that we've created this thing, let's destroy it! Uh, I'm gonna take this apart so that I can put together one of the other kits. Oh. Which means uh, all I'm going to do, actually, is just pull this out of here. Oh, but it's going to smear everywhere, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, how can I do this without smearing? If I just bend the card a bunch, ideally, uh, I'm going to try not to get the paint from my fingers everywhere as well. So, you know, normally you'd have a bit more time to let things dry in between experiments. Uh, I don't have that luxury, so we're just going to go for it. Oh, that's, that's not so bad. Probably because most of it was dry already. Okay, cool. So, where's my wet neck tin? Here we go. <laughs> Gonna try and go from the inside out so I don't smear anything from side to side. I mean, it's okay if there's a little bit left on there. 
It's just going to get painty again, right? So in fact, in this case, it seems easier to let the holes not be filled in. I think that I'm just going to stick with doing the edges because I don't need the most perfect contact right now. Uh, I have more of a need for it to be clean. And so I'm going to adjust my technique accordingly. That looks pretty good. Uh, that said, not all of my lamps are constructed in an extremely clean fashion, as we will soon see. So, uh, one other cool thing about this board is that, uh, they're not, like, super publicizing this part of it, but as you'll notice on the 4 tab, the last thing that we put in, um, there's these six little pinholes. And these are uh, through-hole soldering mounts, or you could just put little pins in them. Uh, it's an ICSP header, and you've got the little ground pin marked. Let's see if we can refocus on this a little bit better. Come on. There we go. Oh, no, too far. There we go. Yeah. Got the ground pin marked and it says ICSP, and that is a six-pin header that is designed for programming it with Arduino. Uh, you can use it to load a bootloader on there. So let's have a look. Um, this is, a, yeah, a spy header. And you can find diagrams for that online, as well as uh, ways to use that to load a bootloader onto your Arduino. Um, pretty cool. Uh, then also, I might as well just show this now, uh, they also have printable sensors that you can cut up and uh, do whatever with that are pretty much guaranteed to work. They're screen printed in a flat, like, perfect way, so you can start with something that's known to be good if you don't have much confidence in your uh, hand drawing sensor skills, and that will help you make a good experiment if you want to prototype a product or something or just make something that looks really beautiful and sharp without, you know. But honestly, like, I think the hand painting part is one of the key draws of this kit. Like, it's so fun. Okay, this is not tacky anymore. Um, I've got a little bit of moisture on my fingers from cleaning this off. This is so good. I love this day. Uh, getting my hands dirty. Okay. So this one, what do we do? Yeah, I flip this over in order to connect it, like so. Um, there's a mountain fold and a valley fold, but they're not marked. Um, this seems like it just stands up, so that's fine. And do these actually do anything? I'm not sure. There's probably a, an image on the website, actually. Okay, yeah, so those just sort of like flip up, I guess. Oh, and it turns it into like a little cone. Cool. So what I think I should do is do this and then do that. So little mountain folds and then little valley folds. Might have it wrong, but it's an experiment. Um, and that looks like it will achieve the effect that they've shown. And that kind of pops up. Cool, yeah. I'm feeling it. Uh, time to put the thingy into the thing. So technical. <laughs> and in a second I'm going to take a look on Facebook and see if there's any comments. Unfortunately I can't see live YouTube comments, but I can see them on Facebook. So, here we go. Uh, everything's all nice and lined up. Let's plug it in. Uh, although I do need to do all the little plumbing connection bits first. Make sure that the focus is good. Oh, focus. There we go. Uh, 
Uh, very messy. That's fine. Okay. Uh, and since this is all touch-based, you know, in the unboxing I showed that you can just connect these with your fingers and it'll work. It'll be fine. But uh, it's definitely much more fun to... Oh, wait! Oh, it's got to do the opposite, hasn't it? Because it's going to go like this. Oh, no! Okay. Uh, we'll just pop this out the other way. Eh. Okay. And redo the folds. Like so. Definitely getting smudges all over this now. <sighs> That's fine. I'm going to pop the little tabs down so I can stick them into the paper underneath. Open these up a little bit. Oh, no, I tore it. That's fine. <laughs> I'm going to declare it fine, whatever the case. Go in there. Arr, yelling at it definitely helps. Does, I promise. There we go. I try not to swear at my projects because I think it hurts their feelings, but I think a little bit of well-intentioned motivation never hurts. Oh, you know, maybe I do have that a little bit wrong because the cable wants to go through there, right? Hmm. <laughs> I think it goes like something like this. That looks about right. Okay, let's try. Oh. I think it might have given me a little spin animation, which. Oh! No, there we go. It works beautifully. Oh, that's so perfect. Oh. <laughs> and then you can do a little sweet, awesome, dimmer animation. Oh, this is so good! I had not anticipated this working so well. Um, I'm really excited, actually, to try uh, designing my own little shades for this now, because uh, it's so inspiring. Which I'm sure is, like, part of their idea, right? You're not supposed to cling uh, fanatically, zealously to their original designs and just be like, this is the perfect thing, this is how it's supposed to be. You know, you're supposed to experiment and try your own things and design stuff and have fun. But, uh, it's really beautiful. So good job, it's working I guess. You've manipulated me into wanting to build more stuff with your kit. Terrible. This is so good, I can just play with this for hours. Okay, let's try the other one that we just uh, put together. Oh, this is so good, I don't want to take this one apart. I'm going to have to put it together again after the fact, because it's, oh, it's so magical. I mean, the proximity one is magical, too, but I think this one, there's something about being so hands-on that is just, like, really satisfying. Ah! Uh, ah, uh, I smeared it everywhere! Actually, it's not that bad. Totally salvageable. <laughs> uh, come back with the uh, paper towel here. Get paint even more everywhere. Oh boy. <laughs> now it's kind of getting onto the rest of the board too. I'm just going to pretend like this is fine. It's fine, it's fine. Ignore the little shreds of paper going everywhere. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said the rest of the office is incredibly clean too and like tidy and mess free, so. Okay, never trust an engineer with a clean desk. That's what I say. All right, all right, we're ready for phase three, which is originally phase one, but we are doing it in reverse order because we're special. All right, this thing is no longer tacky. That's awesome. Um, gonna pop this guy in. Isn't this the best day? This is so good.
Come here. Go in the thing. I'm gonna get predictable. <laughs> Some of my favorite uh, YouTube channels have these little, their communities sort of latch onto their little mannerisms. Like there's this awesome like 80 year old guy that's got all these cool toys and stuff. And uh, his fans have initiated a heh <laughs> count because he always goes heh. <laughs> Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> and uh, so, you know, people put the little timestamps and stuff. And, you know, there's another one who, who eats MREs, uh, meals ready to eat from uh, various eras, like really old ones and stuff, too. And he always has his things like, oh, let's get this out on a tray. Okay, nice. You know, that kind of thing. Uh, so I'm terrified of what would happen if people did that with me. <laughs> Probably just be like, arr, 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 you know, kind of noises. <laughs> anyway, uh, probably not something I have to worry about for a while, but these are the things that keep me up at night, right? Oh, so smudgy. So smudgy. All your beautiful design bear conductive. Dimitra, I'm letting you down. It's fine. We'll get through it somehow together. Okay, um. <laughs> uh, here we go. We're gonna. Plug it in through over here. Come here, cable. Boop, boop, boom. Oh, I'm gonna finish the circuit first. I kind of want to take like a really fine paintbrush and do this bit, because then I could actually get it down in the little wells and stuff. But and this really doesn't take much paint at all. Like this tube is still mostly full. And you know the idea is that you put in a, on a kind of like thin layer. Uh, so that it dries quickly and doesn't get all lumpy and gross. So, yeah, you barely need any of this stuff at all, so it's going to last you a long time. Especially if you get the giant 50 milliliter pot. So you've got this little spin animation that happens, so great. Um, I think what I want to do here is just sort of stick... <laughs> Go in there. I could have more manual dexterity than I do. Oh, I should have pre-folded it. That's what I should have done. And then there's these little, two little tab spots where you can put in these, boom, like that. And like this one I'm having trouble with. <laughs> But I'm getting some encouragement from the lamp. It's very nice. It's like turned on in, kind of in solidarity. Like, you can do it! You know, I feel like very encouraged and affirmed by this kit. Uh, I think I just touch it to turn it on and off. But maybe I've smudged things around enough that it's kind of... Oh boy. Yeah, it definitely... <laughs> Who would think that the, the easiest one is the one where I get sort of into the weeds here? Oh, come on, be my friend! Please work. Hmm. Well, <laughs> welcome to being an engineer. <laughs> uh, it's still a gorgeous lamp, uh, and I think this would look marvelous on our wall or something. I'm going to switch it back to being the touch responsive one. Probably because that one likes me better and works for me, but partly just because it has this evil squid on the inside. And I feel like I, too, have an evil squid somewhere deep inside me. You know, on the inside, sort of directing all my actions, and so I feel a great deal of kinship with this dimmer lamp. So then we have the dimmer, dimmer lamp, we have this cool touchy one, and then we have the proximity lamp. Uh, yeah, go forth and make with these. I think it's a really neat kit, and you can also check out their Kickstarter. It was very successful, uh, the Kickstarter for this kit. So if you're thinking of launching your own crowdfunding campaign, it's another cool place to get some inspiration, I think. Um, yeah, don't they link to the Kickstarter somewhere in here? Could be lying. Uh, it might be on the light up board page. So they also have a separate page for the light up board with its modes and stuff. Do, do, do. And just straight up for the board. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah, and so you can get the board itself alone for $31.20, which honestly I think you should just get the whole kit because it comes with some paint and stuff and it's really easy, but 
Um, here's a link to their Kickstarter that I just was mentioning. Um, so this was funded last year and it's just a really well put together Kickstarter. I don't think it's their first Kickstarter either. Does it say? Mm, can't see. Uh, and they got all this press for good reason. Just all these gorgeous tutorials. Sweet! Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed sort of coming along with me on this thrills and spills filled journey of uh, making these lamps. I've definitely had a lot of fun and uh, oh I should check for comments. People say they want some of this stuff which I agree I want it too. Uh, I want more of it so that I can just cover my walls in like touch responsive uh, posters and like you know murals and stuff would be so good. Oh I should make a I, like, okay, give it a like if you agree that I should make, like, a custom Hackster logo that, like, when I hit it, it, like, turns a light on. Wouldn't that be sweet? Anyway, okay, I'm gonna be dreaming about this tonight. Uh, hope you got some inspiration. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome rest of your Throwback Thursday, and we'll catch you tomorrow for Fundum Friday. Ciao!